Alright guys, here's what I have so far. Um, got a 351 VGT VE Turbo from a 6.7 liter Cummins. An Arjuno uh, Uno controller with a CAN bus shield attached and some basic C code that I got. Uh, some of it's written myself, some of it's written from Cowboy from Mopar1973man.com and also some code from guys on the Cummins forum. Big thanks to everyone who helped. Um, right now, uh, the system is taking into consideration a couple different sensors. We have a boost sensor emulated by a pot here. We have throttle position, again emulated by a pot. Drive pressure, exhaust brake switch. Uh, right now I just have it set as two wires. Eventually I will hook it up to a normally open relay that's connected to the brake light or something similar like that. Got this potentiometer that will allow me to set the vane position manually. It's a pull on push off switch so you can have all that in one switch is very nice setup so first of all what I'll show you is just the increase in vein position when the boost pressure increases so I'm going to increase boost pressure right now it's mapped from about 10 psi all the way up to 50 psi at 10 psi the veins are at about 9 centimeters squared at 50 they're about 25 centimeters squared so there is some code in place to try to manage drive pressure uh, so boost will follow the boost map, and then if drive pressure gets out of control, uh, it will manually try to open the veins and allow for that drive pressure to drop. Once it drops down back to close to one to one ratio, uh, then the boost map is taken into consideration again. So, got some noise coming across a different potentiometer, so that's why we hear that. Next we have the, uh, the uh, exhaust brake here. We just got a basic switch. Uh, it will try to apply the exhaust brake slowly if you connect it. So you can see it goes all the way to full close. What we take into consideration here is throttle position. So if you get onto the throttle, it will open that up to whatever the boost map is at. So you can't have the exhaust brake and the throttle applied at the same pot time. As soon as you take the throttle off, uh, it will then apply the exhaust brake again. Next thing we have here is a potentiometer. Again, it's a pull-on, push-off. Uh, that will be mounted somewhere in the cab to allow you to manually uh, adjust the pressure uh, or adjust the vein position. So you pull it on and you can rotate that and that will manually take the veins from all the way closed to all the way open or wherever you want. We do also take into consideration throttle position with this. If you go over, uh, I think it's 30% throttle at this point, it will go back to the boost map. So you can't have your veins fully open manually when you uh, go to 100% throttle because uh, you wouldn't want that kind of EGTs and so forth. Uh, the exhaust brake does also try to take into consideration uh, your drive pressure. So if you have the exhaust brake applied, we will apply it and your exhaust pressure comes up past the maximum allotted value, which in this case is about 45 PSI, you'll see the veins open up somewhat to try to manage that drive pressure. That's about all I got for you. Let me know if you have any questions.